show the high data software for digitizing nurses notes and how it can help you manage your digitized forms. First, your nurses are going to be granted access remotely to your main company computer, which in most cases is the server of your company, which should be controlling all user access to the company network. Second, they will be granted this with reasonable and appropriate security measures to maintain the security compliance. This will be done through periodic training and orientations on company security policies and procedures, as well as strictly adhering to them. And last, all the nurses required to have is DSL internet connection or higher, and a computer system that is Windows XP or Vista or even Mac. To access a server with this solution, a nurse can use their own computer system at home or a laptop connected to a hotspot like Starbucks. Even the Verizon Windbook or MSI or Acer Mini Windbooks can be used with the internet services they provide. These are a good example of tools your nurses can use at these locations that are known to be equipped with DSL or higher. Let's start the management software demo. Now, using any computer, um, using Windows XP here, click on Start and click on Run. For Vista users, you have the field already after you click Start. Type in mstsc.exe, then click OK. A remote desktop uh, connection comes up. Uh, we call RDC. RDC is the application by Microsoft used on a system to allow remote uh, remote connections to other computers. In your case, it will be used by your nurses to connect to your server in your office. Now in the computer field, type in hidata.dumatech.com that's h-i-d-a-t-a dot d-u-m-a-t-e-k dot c-o-m click connect and then again and click OK for the warning and now uh, logging into the 2003 server. The username normally will be your nurse's first and last name. For this demo, the name of the nurse is Nurse1. The password is a password provided to you if in the event you wanted to test drive this application. If you do not have a password, you can call 951-817-1888, leave a voicemail message, and a representative will call you back as soon as possible to assist you. If you have one, enter your password. Take note that these passwords do expire. The software starts up immediately into this page, the list page. And the forms you'll be working on uh, will be on this page, exposed to you and QA, and will be listed permanently in the system. Here is the date range, and currently within this range, this is uh, displaying that there's nothing listed. So let's say uh, you would have to start up a new form. So to start a new form, just click on the gold pad and pen icon. On the top left corner of the display and see all the forms on the left that can be placed into this form management solution of high data. Remember, these forms will be your company forms you've provided us to give the high data to digitize. Then Dumatech will be the company that will install it and secure it in your server and apply it to security. Before clicking around and exploring forms, let's open the 60-day summary by double-clicking it. A form will always have a quarter-page header on the top of this, just like this one does. This header is used to tag the forms so the software can be used to manage it. Through this, you'll be able to search the forms you want by patient's name or even medical record number. QA can also see your forms, but will not do anything to a form unless it is saved in the final status. The nurse is the only one who can save a form in final status. This means both users can review the forms and work together on them. Under HIPAA security, the best practice is tracking your user's activity through the use of their username and password or user profiles. The forms that are saved in draft status are understood to be forms still being worked on by Nurse1 and not ready 
to be submitted to QA. Nurse Wen obviously can log off and go to lunch and come back later and continue, provided it is saved in draft status. If the forms are saved in final status, the forms are considered on the desk of QA, which Nurse Wen will not be able to make changes to. Nurse Wen cannot make any changes until QA authorizes it by saving the form back into draft status. QA can post a sticky note on the form to communicate in plain view, and vice versa, to Nurse Wen of any changes being recommended to be done on any forms. And Nurse Wen can reply, so this is the way they can keep up with the forms together. This is communication is kept simple in digitizing your nurse's notes. So no more phone calls or emails. Once the forms are saved in audited status, the forms are ready for a nurse's signature, which can be done in electronic or digital form using an electronic signature pad made available with the purchase of this solution. The signature pad is placed into the home health agency, so when the forms are read in audited status, they can come into the office and e-sign the document. The signature pad also works remotely, so the nurse may be granted authorization to carry a pad off-site. Our e-signature process holds up in court. Clients are provided with a copy of the legal document. This eliminates the paper currently used to support this process. Are you starting to see the savings in this? Also, since the forms are now going to be in digital form, it eliminates you from buying forms, saving agencies around $200 to $400 per month. What a savings! Pretty companies make their money in ink. Have you seen the cost of ink lately? Did you know you can buy a set with the printer and ink together considerably cheaper than getting the refilled ink itself for the printer? This honestly led our company to stop unused printers in storage. Printing is something you want to get away from unless you are in the business of printing. Another area you can save. You then can protect this collected information electronic form or the quote unquote database much better than you can when it is in paper form by applying him security. If the paper burns, the information is lost. In electronic form, multiple copies can be stored in multiple locations. Remember the laws that apply using encryption though, especially with storing information off-site under Human Security and the High Tech Act of the Obama ARRA stimulus. From this page, the nurse is able to save the form in draft status or final status. And again, QA sees the form in final status and works on it. From the list page, under Human Security, the home health agency is required to back up the information, provide security training for remote users, and manage user profiles for auditing and tracking. It is the covered entity's responsibility under Human Security. Have you seen a copy of the list of Human Security standards? Or a copy of the sample interview for Human Security on-site investigations from CMS? You should see those. The main objective of this solution is for your company to have complete control of the healthcare information by storing it in your home health agency. And by using this solution today, you will notice immediate savings from paper, ink, buying forms, and waiting for your nurses to show up with the information you need to get paid. Use Dumatech for your HIPAA security and computer network solutions. For more information, contact us at Dumatech at 951-817-1888 or email us at info at Dumatech.com. Thank you.